menteur. Vous êtes tous des menteurs. Laissez-moi partir. Oh. Laisse-moi. Oh. Ok, ma chérie, allez. You make problems, Moira. You keep running away. Haven't we taken good care of you? You want to fly, Moira? Is that it? You must. Your wings are beautiful and strong. Paris is straight ahead. Lash. Fly. You're free. The door of your cage is open. Go home. You can do it. We were her family. No respect from the lady. They're waiting for you out there, Tim. I think you will do some business today. Blessings of my jump bucket would most appreciate. Thank you. Uh, come on, let's go get a taxi. I want to check this out. Hi. Where are you from? Why? Is this a pole? <laughs> I'm from the West Coast. 
California boy. I was just hoping to find a friendly face. How can you be lonely? This is Amsterdam. You must be one of the uh, the official greeters, huh? You do this for a living? Yeah. No, my uh, my father's an awesome movie star. I mean, no, really, if I dropped his name, he'd probably squeal. And he pulled my allowance and you know, booted me over to Europe to learn a little bit about life. Hey, listen, I've uh, got some really great hash, cocaine, anything you want. Guaranteed to make Amsterdam uh, memorable. You're in luck to buy from me. The stuff in this town is pretty dirty. Talk price with the scumbags sell. I'll be back in a minute, all right? Officer! Officer, excuse me. your trip is not too heavy for you I am the guest of the ICIE What's up, man? Hey, Wouter. How's it going? You got a plane to catch? Or you got time for a beer? Business. I got a sale going down. Stay away from the dam tonight. Too many knocks in leather jackets. OK, thanks. I'll uh, catch you later. Uh, if you see Jacques, uh, don't tell him you saw me, all right? Trouble? No, but I. I'll owe you one, okay?
why you're in the dark. I'm sorry I'm late, hon. I closed the Riverdale property today and the office insisted on hauling out the champagne. You know, my commission will cover your first year at USC. Not bad for an old lady, huh? Honey? Oh, honey? What is it? I, I just found out my mother is a world-class liar. Maybe you'd better start at the beginning. Tim! You can't make it something dirty! I won't let you! Tim! Talked to this bitch when I was a kid. Told Dad all the stuff I couldn't say to you. Where'd you come up with this guy? Did you cut him out of a magazine? He was just a friend. Someone I admired. It was such a long time ago. We're not... Not what, Janet? We're not the same people. Maybe that works for you. But I don't know who I am anymore! I wait for heaven, sleep on soft bed. Lord must give me new back first. You're in the West now, Brother Abraham. It is the custom. You have camera? I like show picture to my people. Mm -hmm. Only rich men live in palace, my country. I wonder why they gave us a telephone. Do you have friends to ring up in Amsterdam? Oh, no, brother. Oh, yes. Well, good morning to you. Who am I calling, please? Oh, the hotel operator wishes us a very good morning. Oh. <laughs> uh, my friend Abraham and I do not know anyone in Amsterdam to call. If you need the telephone, please be so kind to take it. She says they do not need the telephone. The hotel has many. Hey, the West. What's the number? What's the number? I will walk ahead. I have charted my course. Doran Stark Central. Hey, there be Doran Stark Central. Hey, there be Rice Center. Kit again. Ah, just Prince and Crack. Namaskar. A greeting from my country which means good wishes to you. Hey, pardon, please. I'm seeking the rice center. I was told it was exactly a five minutes walk from my hotel. Look, if I retrace my steps, I could be late for the opening session of the great conference of itinerant evangelists. And that would clearly be an insult to my host. I am Rajan Prasad. My country is India. Hey, to be in your beautiful city is proof that with God all things are possible. Hey man, can you spare some gilders? Last night these guys jumped me and uh, they cleaned me out. My wallet and my traveler's checks. It works. Oh, you're an American? Yes? Yeah, hey, I'm Tim Devon. I'm so hungry that my guts are knots, man. Well, thank God. They didn't take your beautiful guitar, <laughs> Timothy. Well, I, I tried to hold these guys up, but there were six of them, you know? I once played the guitar myself at school. It was my favorite instrument. I learned a popular song from the United States, Homeland on the Range. Just 10 guilders, all right? And I can pay you back. I'll bring it to your hotel room, all right? I never dreamed to find anyone hungry in Amsterdam. I have no gilders, but I will go in search of food for you. Shove it, man. I will return to this very place at the first possible moment, Timothy. Dames and heren, attention. We begin in moment here. 
wint uw zitplaats zo gauw mogelijk. Prepareert u voor de eerste vergadering van onze 1986 Amsterdam Conferentie. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention please. We are just about ready to begin. Will you please find your places quickly and be prepared for the opening session of our Amsterdam 1986 Conference. American boy needs some food. Will you help me to get some? Oh, sure, brother. Oh, don't worry. Yes. You can get me some other so mm. grateful. If you can go that way. Mesdames et messieurs les participants, votre attention s'il vous plaît. Le café et le sandwich sont à votre disposition. Nous vous demandons cependant de vous asseoir rapidement afin que ceux qui attendent puissent se servir également. Merci. Please help yourself to the sandwiches and coffee. That those who are waiting may also be served. Thank you. Bless you. I can prove it's mine. Now there's pictures. My girlfriend, they're all over the inside. Just open it up. Pictures? Yeah. Hey, what the? We... Hey. Come on, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Nieuwe gordijnen, nieuwe 
Last night, the dawn was unreal. I mean, it was swarming with narcs. I mean, I can usually spot them, like you told me, you know. But there was this one dude, he was flashing his cash. A little cowboy. He said he was from uh, Albuquerque. Had to exit down to a T. You know, it came time for the buy. He won't, like, nail me. Going over this bridge, and the uh, cowboy was driving, leather jacket and me in the back seat, and that's... I kick open the door. I jumped off the bridge. I guess that's where I hit bottom. And the police? <laughs> they didn't want to get wet. I mean, they pulled over, they looked around. <laughs> I just hit under the bridge till they were gone. Your account now totals 422 bills. I must charge you for last night's loss. Charge the narcs? 24 hours, that should be enough for you to clear this up. Your passport, please. It's in my backpack. With your looks, you can make uh, 50 guilders to go for 10 or maybe 50 minutes work. Of course, you have to shave. But you've already had a bath last night, wasn't it? I'll keep this for you and the rest of your gear. 24 hours. Or else I'll be forced to see that the police get this. They won't be so tolerant. Serious problems for you in getting back into the States. Hmm? Rembrandt's plan is your very best opportunity. Uh, maybe you need a little help. Tell them you've never done it before. They just might believe you. The price goes up. Something to eat. Sandwiches. No, I have no, plenty in my pack. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Here. I can't compete with those boots. from more countries and territories than probably any event in the history of the world.
already more than 174 countries are represented here, which is about 10 countries more than have ever gathered before in any event in the history of the world. Now, many of you are weary from the long travel. Your minds and your bodies may feel like they're in different places right now, but I believe that your hearts are here, and that's what counts. Now, an evangelist must be many things to many people. The preacher for this work must have the heart of a lion, the patience of a donkey, the wisdom of an elephant, the industry of an ant, and as many lives as a cat. We are like schoolboys again. I find many good messages here for my people. It makes your heart burn to preach. In my district in the north, 25 churches, I am pastor. You must not exaggerate too much, brother. This can be seen. <laughs> Spirit of God convinces me 25 churches. It's good, yeah? I'm staying in the bush two, three months. One sermon for me good 25 times. Then I come home. I'm most welcome. You have family waiting for you. My wife, eight children. I'm told all gospel in this small book. Many English words make it difficult for me. Shall we read it together? Oh, yes, brother. Steps to peace with God. In all of life, there is nothing more wonderful then discovering peace with God. Amen. Step number one. To this discovery is realizing God's plan. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Step number two. We must acknowledge our problem of separation. God did not make us robots to automatically love and obey Him, but gave us a will of our own and the freedom of choice. <laughs> Choosing our own way is separation from God. Oh yes, and that makes for a difficulty. Step number three. When Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose from the grave, he paid this penalty for sin and bridged the gap from God to all people everywhere. Step, step number four. We must trust Jesus Christ and receive him as our Lord and Savior. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in.
Hi. I'm Ellie. You look you could use a friend. You can tell me everything. I'm a good listener. You're out early, Ellie. Farm girl. Early mornings. So how about it? No, no thanks. Okay, you're lost. Cheerio. Hey, Tim. How did you find Rembrandt's plan? Very good, very good. I assume you did better. Sit. Here. My passport and my gear. Of course, that was the arrangement. Hm. is in. Rembrandt's plan is not your style, huh? Tim, how else can we straighten out your situation? The town is jumping with American kids with traveler shacks in their jeans. Get out there and make the most of it. Innocent of... I like you, Tim, a man of your word. This stuff is outrageous. Hi, I'm taking a survey. Welcome to Amsterdam. Where's your lawyer? I had a fight. She insisted on the Hilton, and I thought the lobby was a geriatric ward. So she's off to Venice. How about doing the town? What did you have in mind? Oh, one of those night canal rides. Mm. I need a guide to show me the territory. Uh, General de la Posta Restant, uh, Tim Devon. Should be from Los Angeles. Devon? What movie star is called Devon? What movie star uses his real name? Schlitt? Is it from him? Uh, I just remembered an appointment, okay? Maybe another time. Hey, how about later? The boat ride? I can't be sure you'll ever read this, but it keeps my hopes going just to try and find you this way. I found this book on Holland at the library. But it only made me miss you more. Life is funny, huh? Is this what being an adult means? We had so many plans this summer. Hi. Give me a second. Yucatan just dumped. I kept telling her I had to get going on a passport, and she gives me this bull about misplacing my birth certificate. I almost took on that nerd at the Hall of Records. I'm standing there like a fool. He's got the computer. Nothing. Nothing come up for Devin on my birthday. It was like a uh, twilight zone. You know, I keep yelling at him, you don't know the code. And so finally he says, you know, maiden aid. Oh, that's when it all spit out. I mean, she was on there. My birthday, St. Francis Hospital. Father. Blank. Turkey turns around, he has this tight smile on his face and tells me, oh, that's how they do it when the mother chooses not to name the father. Here, five bucks will turn your life around. It doesn't change who you are. 
at me. I don't know who I am. Grew up with a ghost for a father. Maybe he's alive somewhere. Look, I'm taking off. My graduation loot. What am I supposed to do? You wait, I guess. Uh, if you want to. I feel so jerked around. I'm scared. <sighs> Me too. search for your father. Mine was lost to me many years ago. He died, huh? Mm. Oh, he lives this day, but I am no longer his son. How's that? In India, there is the Hindu religion. Do you know of it? Mm. You wear turbans, right? Sometimes, not always. My parents are devout Hindus. It was my upbringing. It is too hot. Have some yogurt mm. to cool down the fire. Better? When I was 12, my father sent me to the mission school. I would be the first in my family to be educated. My parents warned me to ignore the Christian God. Christians were cow eaters, you know. They had no respect for karma. Very underdeveloped. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Missionaries worked you over, huh? Very little was said. It was perhaps the quality of their life. In my third year, I borrowed a Bible from the desk of my teacher. Hindus spend their lives trying to get close to God. In the Christian Bible, I was astonished to learn that God wanted to get close to me. But he sent his son to show us the way. My mother would be shamed to serve such a dish. Uh, but for Amsterdam, huh? Well, why couldn't you just believe what you wanted to? I mean, keep it to yourself. 
avoid the hassle. When I experienced the love of Jesus, he warned me such a way it was an open secret. My father declared me dead before the family. And only the heart of God was strong enough to receive my pain. Hey, folks, you never saw him again? As if I had not been born. Well, I've never seen my dad. I will help you find him. <laughs> we can do it together. I ran out of leads. She said his name was Debay. That's an American spelling. The closest the Dutch comes is Debe. I looked through every Debe in the book. Write it down for me, please. We need some tea. The service is very bad here. Why do you have to make a with a Javani last again? Do a cup chai, huh? Great food. Put me out. I'll take off. Timothy, I'm most fortunate to have at this moment a hotel room with two empty beds. My business will keep me away for hours. Please. Why are you doing this? The hotel people are most generous. It will please them if the room is occupied. They are always tidying up. There is even a telephone. Tim, is that you? Don't hang up, please. Hello? His name was Peter Dubay. We saw each other on and off for six months. We were at San Francisco State in our senior year. Money was tight. He was on a foreign scholarship. I worked part-time. We talked about living together. You shacked up with him. Tim, it was the 60s. It seemed natural. After graduation, I found out I was pregnant. It didn't seem fair to ask him to change his, his life. His whole life was in Holland. Noble of you, carrying me, the bastard. That's an ugly, stupid word. You were mine. I built a life for us. I love you, Tim. You've never given me cause to regret, never. Why didn't you just get an abortion? I, I didn't want to miss you. Hey, too much soap. Soap is very expensive. How much do you pay your dishwasher when he's not sick, huh? <laughs> Never mind. He's much faster than you. Ah, wait. 82 guilders. The queens. May I suggest a mind improvement in your aubergine budget? Silence, you I'm working. The addition of ginger root, finely ground. My mother received much honor for her aubergine budget.
Sing my great hey, Shut up. No singing. Customers, they pay. Thanks, God. Business is good. Oh, for a thousand thanks to sing. Paji, you pass me. Tell me to take Kimmy Smile at the tone pair. Huh? Yeah, you're on the back. I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to go to the back. Good morning, brother. I go now, Rice Center. I'll be with you. I must change. I spend the night with friends. Hallelujah. Sir. Can I help you at all? I'm most pleased to be informed of your 
me to the Dutch program. I observed the sign in your window. Oh, thanks, God. My steps were directed to this very place. It has proved quite effective. Long friendships are often established over a casual dinner. Shall we go down to my office? Yes. Can I have your name? R A J A M Rajam. P R A S A D Prasad. Rajam Prasad. Thank you, Mr. Prasad. Prasad. You're visiting from the great country of India, and you would like to be a guest in a typical Dutch home. Very good indeed. Oh, yes. Thank you. His name is D.B. I beg your pardon. D.B. I will write it for you. Sir, it is quite impossible to request for a specific individual. Our program has a list of recommended homes willing to entertain foreign visitors. All invitations must be by mutual consent. I am certain Mr. D.B. will not deny me when he understands the purpose of my visit. I'm afraid we do not speak the same language. I seem to enable to express myself properly. Believe me, I would not concern you if it was of not great importance. You may tell Mr. De Bee that the matter to be discussed happened during the time he lived in the United States. Or perhaps 18, 20 years ago. How much time will you require? De Bee, De Bee is not on the list. I seriously doubt he ever will be. And why is that? If you can read, Mr. Prasad, let me suggest you the local telephone book. The post office is just outside around the corner. I have already tried the local telephone book. I have already been to your post office. None of the debris was correct. Oh, excuse me for your time. Timothy! You will surely have helped me search, brother. I have made my request known. A search? You mean for my dad? Well, look, I'm due over in Lights to explain, okay? I can walk you there. I have time. The scriptures declare that the Lord is interested in everything that concerns us. <laughs> Now there's a mind for details. The world's pretty screwed up. So, if he's the only real one, why doesn't he wipe out the competition? Set himself up? Timothy, you're a theologian. OK, so. Where did God get a son? Could we not sit? I cannot respond to such a good question without thinking. Scriptures say that before anything else existed, there was Christ with God. Perhaps Jesus called himself son because he knew it would help us to understand that he was part of his father. Just as we are a part of our fathers here on earth. Jesus Christ, by his death and resurrection, became the gospel. Mysterious sounding. Yes? But Timothy, I am a witness to that light. And beyond history and outside the Bible, 
He is as real to me as any living person. That is why I don't argue about him. I only say seek him. Try him. How else can you be sure? You talk to him, huh? Oh, yeah? A part of me is talking to him right now. Yeah, what does he say? That he is glad that we are friends. Are you hungry? No, I had a good day. I made some guilders. What is your business? I sell maps to the tourists, guide them around. Help them take in the sites, whatever they want. You know so much about this city? <laughs> For sure. You're American. A capitalist. Thanks, uh, Raj. Hey. The meal and everything, you know? But I have to get back to work. This is goodbye? Look, I just can't spare any more time, all right? If I ever get over to India, I'll look you up. something to pass in mind. You'll think you stumbled onto a cloud. Hey, cowboy! Over here! <laughs> this place stinks. They hose it out every morning. Campsites are full up. Go outside and get rid of this stuff. What do you have? Something good? Peruvian. Best you'll get in this town. Yeah. We made to buy at the dam. Got so thin with soap, hardly a bus. You were cheated. Not for me. It's the cleanest it gets. Mexico, maybe you do better, but you're a long way from home. Your price? Gilders, 25 for a snort, 50 for a packet, 180 to 200 for a gram. Can you supply in quantity? Leave tomorrow night. What'd you have in mind? Hundred grams. Yeah. Can you get in with that much? Why not? Can you connect for us? Sure. It's no problem. Tomorrow. There are rats in here. They all have two legs. You cannot run. You should go outside. My children know not where can be Holland. And while I fix map, each night before sleeping, they touch map and send love and prayer to me. Your family, they pray good for you here? And the narcs won't come here, it's okay. Paul pretends to be a famous doctor. He makes some cultures by nature. He will set up a meeting place. The air 
much better. Okay, you know uh, Rembrandt's link? Tomorrow. Rise. Over here. I have to hide. Don't find me. I'm dead. You beautiful bones. They jumped me. What's this exist time? Money's gone. Two guys. And I have to. Where can I go? If he finds me, I'm dead. Who's searching for you? Forget it, all right? Just. You called me, and now I should forget it. Yeah, you'll be safe at the hotel. An Indian can be barefooted. It is expected. No one will notice. Morning to you, dear sister. Nobody's around yet. I'm just in did some sorting. Is there anything I can do for you? I am told that Samaritan's Purse is providing clothing for those attending the conference where the need is great. Well, we're especially trying to help those evangelists from the third world countries. You know, the remote places where shopping's a problem. And money. That too. We're open every day, right after lunch. I assume I am third world. I keep hearing this. Although how we achieve this position is not clear to me. I am hoping to be blessed with shoes. Fine. You come back right after lunch. Mercy. What size do you wear? <laughs> Whatever you're kind enough to share with me. Well, they have to more or less fit. You can try anything on these tables. Oh, please. The gift of the Smartest Purse must be of your choosing. Mercy. Well. 
Well? Here. Will these do? <laughs> My feet are insignificant, but somewhat wide. <sighs> this condition comes from not wearing shoes until I was ten. a little? Surely they will stretch. They are God's gift to me this day. Thank you. I'm very happy to see you. You see, I'm an American friend. I'm an American friend. Salute the American, okay? It's okay? Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, hey, brother, 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 brother. Brother, who's that day was going away to Nigeria. Greeting, my friend. We have come to personally thank the general manager for opening the great city of Amsterdam to the conference of itinerant evangelists. This brother here is a former chief of the Maasai in Kenya. He has killed three lions. Brother, was this the very spear? Would you like him to demonstrate how this great feat was accomplished? <laughs> of course, there are no lions here. But he has a good imagination. Yes, please. No demonstrations. We will not be long. God bless you, brother. The troubled young man's soul hangs in the balance. Don't think. Twenty years ago, you are not offering much in the way of clues. We are entirely in need of your help. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Well, I'll be in touch with friends at The Hague. Perhaps some office there will have records of exchange students that went to the stage during that period. Well, I have followed your conference with great personal interest. Oh. Perhaps because I join you in your faith. Thank, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. It's good, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Bless you. It's too hot. This joint claims to be first class. I want a bucket of ice. It just brought you coffee, Timothy. Well, now I need ice. I have asked the Lord to help you. You really want to do something to help me? I'm taking these pills for the pain. The hotel operator informs me that she can call the doctor. No! No, he, he won't do anything. I know what to take. There's some capsules. This guy at the dam sells them. His name is Valder. Now, you give him 35 guilders. Tell him it's for me. I do not possess 35 guilders, Timothy. Will you pray with me? Yeah, I asked the Lord to shovel 35 guilders my way. You're so tight with him. I will bring ice, brother. Get out! Hold your bluff, man! In my country, our spiritual path is most honorable. Not the same here in the West. Oh, all people the same. Pride and sin build high walls of stone. Jesus waits other side for us. Timothy should not be made to feel guilty. He carries more of that dark burden than he can manage. 
Sin like heavy stone on heart. Only cross of Christ can lift this sadness. I would lead him to that place of rest, brother, but I cannot make him stay. Only God can do more. Don't worry, son, okay? Perhaps I misunderstood my calling. Crazy guitars in my way for the last time. You keep it now. Remember the guy who tried to hustle you for breakfast? Tim Devon. P.S. A letter in the case. Please mail it before you leave Amsterdam. Thanks. Hello? Mr. Rajan Prasad, please. Yes? This is Mr. Prasad. I'm speaking. I think we found you, Mr. Debye. Excuse me, please. Mr. Debye, I have an address for you. Are you there?
Got her. Hey, man, where you been? I've been looking for you. You got a minute? Yeah. Look like a tram hit you. Yeah. Look, uh, about her, I need something. You know, I just gotta get kicked up. Uh, just a hit. What you want? I'm just sick. I'm just sick. You're hooked? No, man, I'm not hooked. I'm sick. I just need some time to get my head together. Anyway, Shark is looking for you. I'll see him. I know that. I gotta see him. It's just not like this, man. Come on, help me. What kind of cash you got? You just carry me for a little while. I'll make good, okay? Rip off some clothes. Get me a couple of pairs of jeans. Something I can turn over fast. Look, my watch, man. Look at that. Hold on to it. Use. Give me that crap, man. It's graduation. I got this. Oh, 200 bucks it's worth. Oh, I only got it two months ago. Are you yelling at me? It'll bring you up for a couple of hours. Work the metro. Snatch some purses if you're not back by four. I go to shark. I got the kid working the metro. Sent him to snatch some old lady's purse. Let's put some sweat on him.
Make good job. I can go to Rembrandt's plane every night. I can do it. I'll make plenty of guilders for you. I never doubted it. supposed to fly home? You're not about to die, Tim. It's more like a graduation. You gain the honors without having to be a student. You'll need to see me every day, and Sprug won't have the worry of looking for you. Just good for business. Timothy! Who the hell are you? I'm far from hell. But I recognize you, sir. The Prince of Darkness is your master. <laughs> Big talk for a coolie. You cannot have him. The police will find you in some alley with heroin swimming in your veins. Both of Run! you. Run! Go on, get out of here! Go! I do not go without you, Timothy. We make a little blood test. It is my wish to live peacefully with all men. Where'd the come from? I have much to confess this day. Okay, now just let me walk when we get there. It's somewhere around here. Ah, lovely! What can I say to him? The truth, brother. Oh, yeah. Hi there. By the way, we're related. Aren't you coming? California to Holland, accompanied by India. It could give him a headache. Well, I hope he's had a good day so far. Dag, kan ik iets voor je doen? I'm uh, I'm an American. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, what is it? I would like to meet, uh, see Mr. Deby. Is this for an appointment? The doctor is quite busy. Are you selling something? Oh no, uh, we just biked out from Amsterdam. The young man brings greetings from a friend in America. Well, I was just about to say that. Doctor to be here? 
Good morning. You'll have to come to me. I'm running late. Do I know you? Have we met? Not exactly. Please state your business. My schedule rules me today. Somebody decided to sue me. I wouldn't take you for a prosperous lawyer, but then perhaps you were incognito. But where did you find such a thing? It was prowling in the flea market in the city, and there it was. It's only ten guilders. And somebody said it was you. But why are two pictures circled? The young lady, Janet Carson, she recognized as well. She's my mother. And she informed me, somewhat reluctantly, that I am your son. We lived together in San Francisco during the 60s. That's where I came in. Hey, Papa, can I talk to you? Wait, wait, wait. I'm tired of carrying them around. Wait! What do I call you? You don't! Here, pick on. Who is that? That leg ik je dadelijk al out. Did you expect him to invite you to tea after such news? How do I know what I expected? Or did God tell you that too? I think it is too fast, Timothy. He needs time. Yeah, he needs time. Sure, great. How about another 18 years of my life? After all, we've only got a, you know, a slight misunderstanding here. I'll go with you. We'll talk to him. You're out of it now. You got it, Swami? I know your plan, man. You're set on claiming me for Jesus. You want my scalp hanging from your belt so you can make points with your God squad back at the Rye Center. You just forget about me, man! On the skies are not cloudy all Home on the ridge Where the deer and the antelope Discouraging wind and the skies are not cloudy all.
Um, has Mr. Prasad checked out of room 311? 11? I'm not sure. I haven't got this departure listed, but there's been much confusion. So many conference participants have left this morning. What if you knew Christ would return in one minute and you were the only one in the world that knew it? Would you fall on your knees and cry out for mercy and realize you've never really known him? Suppose you were the only one that knew that Christ would return in 30 seconds. Would you run out into the street and scream at the top of your voice, Jesus is coming, repent and believe, repent and believe. Suppose it was 20 seconds and you realize that you've not lived a holy life, you're not ready to see Christ, and you're now desperate. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Five. Four. Two. One. And you're not ready. God has entrusted to people like you and me, redeemed sinners, the responsibility of carrying out his divine purpose. He's given us the privilege, the high and holy privilege, to proclaim his message of the gospel of the kingdom. Let us therefore ask God to give us a fresh vision of the world that is outside Christ, a world for which Christ died, a world which is filled with fear, guilt, chaos, and spiritual emptiness. How many of us have loved people for Christ so much that we've shed tears? Do you see people every day and do you look at them as lost people, separated from God, with empty hearts, searching for something they don't know what it is? That something is God. I do not believe any of us are here by chance. God has brought each of us here for a purpose. And may each of us go from Amsterdam with a new commitment to do the work of an evangelist. There's one word that all of us can say in every language. I want us to say it together. Hallelujah! Still the work of an evangelist. Still the work of an evangelist. Still the work of an evangelist. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty and dominion and power both now and evermore. Amen. God keep you, son. And you. Such strong meat our days here. Mm. Needs it alone to take it in. We'll not meet again till... I pray for Timothy. Take off without 
some sort of goodbye. Timothy? Thank you. Well, I mean, you know, I suppose I decided to later on shift to your side. Uh, I'd be hassled looking up in India. Uh, from what I hear, it's, that's a pretty big place. Shift to your side. This expression is not known to me. Well, I, it, what you said, uh, that, I mean, the only sure way is to, is to try him, right? And that he's as real to you as any living person. And I decided to make a test for myself. Well, I want to see if you're, you know. You're asking to be a Christian? Well, I'm, I'm feeling my way through this thing. Okay. Uh, I've got a lot of garbage in my life to dump. He's like the lonely street sweeper in my country. He will take it all away. If we confess our sins to him, he can be depended upon to cleanse us from every wrong. And then, you must ask him to be lord of your life. Uh, see, I don't know what that means. He will show you. Raj says you already know about me, Jesus, and not much sense in repeating myself. It's hurt a lot of people, including myself. Oh, I really know that. I'm sorry. Please make it right. I want to believe in you. I guess I'm opening the door. My heart is singing. I can barely hold it in place. Thanks, God. He's inside waiting for us, I hope. Uh -huh. Well, Timothy is Timothy. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Mom, we go through customs in New York. Well, look, he really wants to talk to you. He's waiting. Okay? Okay, just a minute. Yeah, you too. Mom, she, she really wants to talk to you. You still like ice cream for breakfast? Of course I remember. Your yeah, it's been 20 years, but I don't like to. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
at the hotel. I, I told them. It was yours. He's a musician. Most professional. No, no, it, it's yours, Ross. But I want you to have it. You do? They suspect I'm a smuggler. You are required to take it. There's been a misunderstanding. I, I gave it to him. Do you want to look inside again? We must go. Better finish this off. If you think I have difficulties here, wait till they see my beautiful guitar in New Delhi. I have 13 hours to work up a good story. <laughs> Wish I could be there to hear it. Thanks, Raj, for being my friend, man. Let's go. Passengers for Kaidev, Lift Afri, Einar, Kuwait, Singapore, and Jakarta, Bosnia, Einar, Amsterdam, Istanbul. Look, I'd like to write you. Do okay. Perhaps we should try again next summer. Huh? Yeah. All right. Yours. <laughs> okay. And वो कहानी सोनी है कि गुरु के आपके दिल में जमी और और अपने लिए बहुत प्यार सी और आपने एक पुत्र का लिया ते आपने लिए सामने तुरुगा ते मरुगा ते आपानु ते दिशन लापा होगा जो दो दिशु की सामने क्या नाम किया क्या नाम किया When anybody asks me about last summer I have to tell him about Raj and his 8,000 friends who showed up in Amsterdam. When I think about each of them out there somewhere doing what they do, I kind of get a good feeling, you know, like something's, something exciting is happening way out in the deep pockets of the world. But that always brings it right back home to my own life. Because it works. Now, Christianity is not something I shove down anybody's throat. All I can tell them is what I know. After that, they got to make their own test. Now, maybe that prayer I prayed will help somebody right now. 
I'm opening the door for you to come in. It's not the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. It's just the best.